if this cold weather has you dreaming of someplace warmer and tropical, then we have a place for you. That's right, and you can get a taste of the Caribbean without leaving Detroit. Michelle Oliver take us to, takes us to Norma G's on the east side to dine in the D. Mm, Norma G's. Full of flavor-packed food and colorful decor, Norma G's whisks you away to the Caribbean. You know, they go to the Caribbean and they get what they think is Caribbean food, but they never go eat with the families that live in the communities around the hotels. And that's what I'm trying to do. This is a food you would eat at a family's house. And chef and owner Lester Govaya should know because he originally came from Trinidad. So the first time I ever tried to cook for a girl, I failed. I guess that kind of gave me the, um, the, the impetus to, to try harder. Going home, to visit my mom and my sister who were great cooks. I opened my mouth one day and I said, you know what, I'm trying to cook and I'm gonna do this. And they said, okay. And they stopped cooking and they said, you try. He started off catering and then opened up a food truck. Eventually, he achieved his dream of owning a brick and mortar restaurant, opening Norma G's in August of 2018. The brand will always be Norma G's. It's a, it's a tribute to my mom, just all the things she's done and just the kind of cook she was and taking simple things, as I've always said, and really just making good things from it. And though Lester is from Trinidad, they serve food from all over the Caribbean. It really is Caribbean food, so it's taking a lot of the flavors from the Caribbean and trying to really introduce that to people in Michigan. And you know, you have things like our cuckoo and callaloo, which is a Sunday dish, halals, which is a, the, the rice dish, things like that. And then obviously the curries, because the curries are really some of the most popular foods in the Caribbean. So let's make their popular chicken curry. We start with a hot pan in the morning, because this dish takes all day to cook. And are they all just like kind of one pot meals? Yeah, for the most part, that's really the kind of cooking we have in the Caribbean. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the seasoning in. So this is where it kind of flares up because there is some liquid. So this is when the seasoning starts to cook. Okay. And I think this is when you really start to build the flavors in there. So now we have to garlic. Uh, you gotta, you gotta yes, cook garlic. I love garlic. And I don't measure. You just shake My measure is, is what I see. Then we add in some salt, pepper, and onion powder. This is the basis for a lot of Caribbean cooking. Okay. We call it green seasoning. And you we, don't need a lot. We can't tell you what's in it, right? I'm not gonna say. This Let's just secret. say one of the things in there is thyme. After a quick mix, we add in the chicken. Can I grab that up there? And that's almost 15 pounds. That's a lot of chicken. Of chicken. Next comes the green beans, Yukon gold potatoes, and chickpeas. So this is how you get your workout every day, I see. Every single day. <laughs> Once it's somewhat mixed, we add in some water and mix it some more and let it come to a simmer. This is my homemade pepper sauce. Okay. You, you really can't cook a curry without some spice. You don't have to be overbearing, but you need something in the background that says, here's a little heat. So when I taste right now, I like to taste in my hand because when you eat food, you taste with your tongue. It's not too hot. No, it's not. Ooh, I like it. With Chef Lester's blessing, we put it in the oven to continue cooking. They serve their chicken curry steaming hot over rice with some fried plantains and a cucumber for garnish. What we do in the Caribbean, when you go to someone's house, you eat and drink and talk. You have a good time, and that's what I'd like this atmosphere to be. So glad to have you here. Journey us is Lester Govia, the chef and owner of Norma G's. Now, there's this big debate going on, and people are saying, is it Caribbean, is it Caribbean? Well, I think about it like this. Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean queen. <laughs> I could go on. <laughs> but Caribbean is also... Caribbean is the way I say it, but both are correct. So it doesn't really matter, okay. as long as you've got the spirit. As long there as you, you have an appetite. And an appetite. No Speaking matter what you say, appetite. Caribbean or Caribbean. Because it's all about this right yes. here. Let's talk about the spread that you brought in. So what we did today was some of the favorites that we have. This is our jerk chicken wings. And then we have our curry chicken. Hold on just a second. Can we go back to these wings? What, yeah. what makes something Amazing. jerk? It's a, it's a type of seasoning. So it, I don't take anything out of a bottle. It's actually it's something that I create from scratch. It's a bunch of different seasonings, different mm. spices. And you have to really let the food marinate for a while. Okay. Sit there, and then we actually grill it. We don't put that in an oven or anything. It's done on an actual grill. Fabulous. Cool. 
And then the curry chicken. And then we have the curry chicken, and those are our fried plantains with the cucumbers. Are those sweet or savory plantains? Um, those are sweet plantains, but it's difficult in the winter time. So you, you, you pray that you get the right kind, and then you mm -hmm. hope you can ripen them in time. Okay. And then this is our oxtail. This is one of the specials that we're doing right now. So it's a braised oxtail that I do, and then I serve that on the red beans and rice, which is more of a Jamaican style rice. Yeah. And then we have our curry goat, which oddly enough has been the biggest seller. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure this one out, but people seem Let to love this. Let me test this out. <laughs> so it's curry and it's what? What is it? It's curry goat. Goat. Curry goat. goat. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even know you're eating goat. <gasps> don't panic. You, you won't should even know taste you're eating this. Goat. I know you'll like this for a fact. This takes about three hours to cook and it really breaks down and it doesn't give you that gamey flavor. No. Then we have our jerk chicken on our pelau. So the rices you're seeing are the pelau and then these are the red beans and rice. This is more of a Trinidad type rice, but those are the jerk chicken mm -hmm. pieces. Mm -hmm. And then we obviously have our jerk chicken sliders. We do that with a chipotle slaw. Look at that. I wanna make sure, hold on, let me put, lift this up so you can get a shot of this. Look at that. Around, cause this looks amazing. Brandon is over across the studio and he's just <laughs> transfixed. He's like hypnotized by that. I get it. What about the uh, drinks? So. A couple of things I did was I actually created some specialty cocktails that we basically ate, drank at Christmas time. So oddly enough, it is Christmas, but they serve all year round. And this is a sorrel, which is really a dried flour that I boil with cinnamon and clove. Mm -hmm. And we mix that with rum. So that's basically one of the cocktails. But this one is a rum punch. My dad used to make this. So when you put the mix of the rum punch, which is the lime juice, the simple syrup and the rum, you add a little grated nutmeg on it. Okay. And then we top that with a cherry. Mm -hmm. and, and then a couple dashes of bitters. And that's oh, your drink. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to say cheer. I love sorrel, so it's I will try a sorrel cocktail. Five o'clock somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh, is that tasty? Sorrel is so delicious. Thank you. So remind everybody where mm. you're located. So we're located at 14628 East Jefferson Avenue, and that is right on the corner of East Jefferson and Manistique, actually a block down from Alta Road. Go. If you want to try out Norma G's, we are giving away four $25 gift cards for your chance to win. Go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. I've heard a lot about your food. I'm ready to dig in. I Thank really you so am. Much. <laughs> we have also started a Dine in the D group on Facebook. Please join it to see all the places we cover, get suggestions on places to eat out, and share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food like we love food, we'd love you to have us join us so we can love you and you can love the food. And we, it's just big love fest. Sounds perfect. Cool. Perfect.